Hello, I'm Stan. My name is Vince. And Vince and I have our second year Master Gardeners. And we decided to partner this year uh, to do a fairly traditional uh, vegetable garden here at the Schooner Research and Display Gardens. So I'd like to just start a little bit right from the beginning. Our strategy was, first of all, to spend some extra time on soil preparation or bed preparation here. And so we decided to do a deep dig and really turn the soil here. I know that in some master gardeners feel differently about doing that because we just bring up weeds that were lying dormant uh, in the past. But this has worked very well for us. Doing so kind of raised the bed a little bit. And uh, so it's been, it's been quite a nice adventure doing this. At the head of this garden is um, a bed of zinnias. Um, these zinnias are not AAS, but they're mother's zinnias. And so she harvested the seeds last fall and gave me an entire ice cream bucket full to do something with. So that's why they're out here, and uh, they're doing her proud right now. They're very nice. We also have some Blue Lake uh, green beans out here that are just about at the point where in a day or two we'll be starting to pick beans. Uh, uh, they've done very well. There are no blight on them. They're, uh, they haven't been really attacked by any critters either. So this is a, is a, is a really good example, I think, of some, some healthy looking uh, green beans. Here we have fennel. And as everybody knows, fennel is, is a very good addition to any pork dish. It's just a nice, uh, full uh, sort of flavor. And this is the first time I've ever grown them, and I'm quite pleased. I will, I'll try, I think we'll try in the future to have some more of these. Uh, we were encouraged by Russ Parker to just try a couple of them, so we did. Here we have kohlrabi. It is also ready to harvest right now. Uh, nice, nice, healthy looking leaves on that. One of the favorite things we've had out here just to look at has been this okra. It's now starting to fruit. Um, we love the flowers. They were beautiful. They were the creams and sort of a rose color, and they were just wonderful to look at. It's too bad they didn't last more than a few days, but they were wonderful to look at, and it was uh, a motivation to come out here two or three times a week. This is an AAS variety of uh, kale. There is a lot of it. I didn't think three or four plants would produce this much kale, but uh, they're, they're, they're nice to look at. Um, I have never planted, and I don't think you have either, Vince, no. uh, Mizuna, which is also known as a Japanese uh, uh, collard mustard. Uh, I didn't know much about what, how to prepare this, but this is a vegetable that can be used very effectively with rice and bacon. So that makes me hungry, even if it's only 8.15 in the morning. Uh, we also have onions, um, and these will be, uh, we're hoping to have them about four inches in diameter or so by the time we harvest these. Um, onions always fascinate me because you barely put them in the ground. And they seem to flourish, and I sometimes wonder how they survive here with hardly any dirt around them, but, but they have been doing very well. Here we have more uh, green beans. These are also Blue Lake. Um, and we have several varieties of tomatoes. And these, except all but one, and that's this one, are AAS varieties. This one is a Wisconsin, uh, U University of Wisconsin tomato, but it's, it's, it's not part of the AAS uh, uh, offerings that we were given this year. I also would like to just tell you we have several kinds of peppers here. And as you can see, everything's been quite prolific, getting Vince and myself to think that even if we like traditional gardens and with straight rows, uh, we could have spaced more effectively, I think, um, because uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of a challenge ch uh, harvesting these beans when they're so close together. But um, Right now, I think we're pleased with the lushness. And we have 
several varieties of tomatoes. This one, for instance, is uh, Candyland Red. And as you can see, um, there are lots and lots of tomatoes on this, this plant. And then we end the garden. Uh, here, of course, are peppers and with a couple of more rows of onions. We love this plot. What could be more convenient than having the water source right next to us? <laughs> and Vince, would you like to add any more? Uh, sure. Um, it's been very enjoyable this season, working with a, a good friend, sharing ideas and information. I totally agree with Stan on the straight rows. Uh, we're both old school, I guess. And um, we have uh, uh, one of the problems is it just there's not enough spacing in there, especially with those tomatoes. But we'll see how that works out. I know that there are a lot of other people involved out here with all of the other plots, and it's always good again to be with friends, sharing ideas and information. And mostly, we hope that we we're making Kevin and and Russ proud of uh, <laughs> of what we're doing, and and whatever hasn't worked out as well as it needs to. We intend to fix that for next year.